Stop uh, looking at the screen, look at the camera. Oh, wow, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> hey guys, George Kringis here, and welcome back to Chef HD. So today I got a really special episode for you. As some of you might know, the restaurant business can be very hard, uh, very demanding, and sometimes overwhelming. If you're lucky, you find the right people uh, that push and inspire you, uh, and hopefully you can do the same for them. And that's really why I love this business, and that's part of the reason why I started this channel. To be able to share my cooking experiences with you, and hopefully in the process, to be able to build that same bond with you guys. For me, Chef Mike Bianco is one of those people. His love and passion for food just really shine through. I've invited him onto the channel today to help me teach you guys how to make pasta. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. He's very knowledgeable. He talks a lot. I'm just joking. I'm actually editing the episode uh, as we speak. I'm gonna make a two-part episode because uh, it's just a lot of footage. It's a lot of information. I'm also really excited for you guys uh, to get a glimpse into another cook's brain on this channel and to be able to take you through our thought process when we're cooking. I hope you guys enjoy the series. Please give us a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below with your thoughts and ideas. I'd love to hear from you. Enjoy the episode. Mikey, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where did you start? So, you know, I pretty much have like the average chef story, started as a dishwasher, worked the way up and yeah. blah, 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 okay. So 23 years pretty, later into this business now. Too. <laughs> <laughs> make a phenomenal dishwasher, I'll tell you, mm. scrub the hell out of those pots and pans. <laughs> pretty much grew up making pasta though. So grandparents taught me at a very, very young age and I've just been obsessed with it since. Pasta by hand is probably one of my favorite things to do out of everything in the kitchen at this point. So how'd you say it again? Spol Spolino? Spolino. Spolino. So tell us a little bit about your new company. Uh, so I started this project. It's a very small batch right now. It's uh, pastas by hand mm -hmm. and it's a mix of all different shapes, sizes, uh, egg pastas, flour pastas, like just you. water. Different shapes That's it. Different size. shapes and sizes. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to highlight yeah. uh, the things that I grew up on, you know, the nostalgia of Handmade pastas brings back a lot of memories, especially with the yeah, grandparents. Man. Again, it's it's a rough start, but it's uh, it's been a lot of fun so far, honestly. I'm glad. I'm proud of you, bud. Yeah. It's been uh, cool. He makes the best pasta. I mean, some of the best pasta I've ever tasted. So this is the guy right here to learn from, and that's why I brought him here. So. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna do it by hand, I guess? Uh, so we are gonna start with a basic pasta dough. And then from there, we're gonna use uh, an Italian contraption. It's called the guitarra. Me, 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 me. So we'll cut the pasta on there, um, making some handmade spaghetti. And then we'll just get into some sauces and stuff I afterwards. Like I like it. Simple. I love it. Done. All right, let's do it. You wanna use a high gluten flour. Um, you want the elasticity. The high gluten flour gives the pasta the perfect chew. This is one of the brands of the double flour. Uh, this one, I believe, was purchased at a De Chico's local yeah, town. Yeah. Um, it's a bro. Tipo Double Zero. You ever use Instacart? Instacart it's is the fantastic. Best. It's oh the my best God. thing in the world. Deliver right to your house. <laughs> oh, I don't even crazy. have to leave my couch at this point. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, another one that I also use too, which is one of my favorite ones, is a Semolina Durham flour. It's a uh, high glutinous wheat as well too. Uh, it also has this beautiful yellow color, make the dough a little bit more vibrant. Um, we're gonna mix the two together. One for the color, one for the elasticity, one for that chew, but also because Durham has uh, a little bit more of this crack wheat flavor, which really does highlight the pasta dough. It's true. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do is equal parts of double zero flour and Durham flour. So I'm going to do four scoops of the double zero, and then we are going to do two cups of Durham flour. I'm gonna first build a well, and this is where my eggs are gonna go. Um, I'm using whole eggs. Um, I know a lot of places will do egg yolks, will do half and half. Um, I like using the whole eggs. Gives the flour a little bit more protein. You're gonna do something like uh, a ravioli, for instance. Um, you need to use whole eggs because you need that extra stretch, right. and you need that strength for when you're stuffing that pasta dough. I'm gonna kind of base it on every cup of flour that you're using, you're gonna use two to three eggs. Okay. Crack the egg on a flat surface. This way you don't get those extra shells in there. 
Um, so we're gonna start because these are larger eggs. We're gonna start with seven at the moment okay. and see if we need to add from there. So what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna slightly kind of mix it a little bit just to scramble the egg. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of fold in a little bit of flour at a time. Now don't mind obviously if some of it runs. Again, this is all gonna be mixed together. So tools you need, just uh, your hands obviously. Uh, hands, a fork. fork. Um, we're gonna use a bench scraper because the bench scraper is gonna be able to kind of pull up any of that extra residual flour that we might have missed. So I just need a little bit of olive oil. The olive oil is going to uh, give it just a little bit of that sheen. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. So at this point now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just try to incorporate the dough a little bit more. That's where the bench scraper comes in. And as of right now, it's looking like we have the right amount of egg to flour. Um, if you for some reason feel like your dough is a little too wet, you can always use a little bit more flour. If you feel as if it's too dry, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna actually take a little bit of water in your hands, get a little cup, put it in your hands, and just kind of spurt it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are starting to form the dough. Now again, it looks like a shaggy mess. Yeah. Um, that's normal. Looks like a biscuit. Yeah, it it's actually looks exactly like yeah, biscuit dough. Yeah. Um, you'll get a smoother dough as you continue to knead. So what we're doing right now is we're just making sure we get all the extra flour and we're gonna start the kneading process. Now you're gonna have to knead this for about six, seven to 10 minutes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the dough, you're gonna fold it and press. And then you're gonna fold and press, rotate, Fold, press, rotate, fold, and press. And you're just gonna kind of work it at this point now, okay? Yeah, come on, let me do some of this, bro. Come on. Ready? Yeah, let me get it. Go for it. Get all those little- Am I doing it right? It's in there. I'm doing Beautiful. okay? Yeah, perfect. You, you really feel that Durham flower Absolutely. in there. Absolutely. Yeah. So the reason why I normally stress um, making pasta dough by hand is for the hand feel. You want to know what the dough is feeling like each and every single time so that you know that the outcome will always be the same. So Sunday supper starts on Saturday night <laughs> as the sauces get going or really, really, really early on Sunday morning. I'm talking about like, these guys are up at five o'clock in the morning, sauces on there, getting the salsitsa ready to go, <laughs> making the uh, antipasti ready, I'm and then they're, and they're making the dough. <laughs> by seven o'clock, they have a mound of dough like this, and they're cutting their pasta by hand, and they're rolling it by hand. It's tradition. I was just about to say, hey, Chef Mike, tell them how, uh, how Italian you are. I think you just explained it all. <laughs> Pretty Italian. <laughs> Good. So there's a good way of being able to test the dough. First off, you want to see some bounce back. So if you right. take your thumb and you push down on it and you see the dough bouncing back like this, that means that gluten is being activated. Now we're going to roll it a little bit more because you see all these little crevices. Yeah. We want it to become more of a smoother dough. But at this point we can see that the gluten is definitely activated. It's bouncing back. It's the dough feels very supple. Um, it feels yeah, really not, soft on the hand. You can see all yeah. the flour is pretty much gone at this point as it is. And you, we really were ending up with a beautiful dough at this point. So this is this is gorgeous. So all we're gonna do is pretty much, we're gonna kind of shape it just a little bit more. And what you, by shaping is, I'm just gonna take the dough, I'm gonna kind of tuck it under my hands and I'm kind of just rolling it underneath. So this is good. So at the, again, you're gonna take your thumb, you're gonna push on it. You wanna see that bounce back, gluten's activated. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna stick it in the refrigerator and we're gonna let it sit for half an hour. And the reason why you wanna wrap it is because you don't want your pasta dough to actually form a skin. Because that skin will be detrimental to your pasta when you're actually trying to roll it and cut it. All right, so we're gonna put this in the fridge. How long are we gonna let it uh, rest for? At least a half an hour. Now again, the dough could be made the day before, minimum half an hour rest. Okay, time. awesome. So in the meantime, we're gonna head over to our, uh, one of our buddies' restaurants, Pax Romana in White Plains. Uh, he doesn't know we're coming, uh, but we're gonna taste, uh, we're gonna sample some pastas. Peace out, we'll be right back. <laughs> Ciao for now, guys.
So that was a lot of fun. Dude, that pasta was so good. Make sure to click that notifications button for an update when the next episode drops. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.